Today we're going to look at the last uh, colligative property that we have on our list. So, um, so far we've looked at colligative properties like vapor pressure lowering, uh, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, um, and the, the key theme to all of those is that we have a solute, which is something that we add to a solvent to make a solution, and the solute affects the properties of the solvent so that um, you know, we get some kind of new property. And the main thing is, is that property is dependent on the amount of solute we put in. So like with boiling point elevation, when you add salt to water, the boiling point goes up as we talked, to boi uh, talked about boiling point elevation, but also the boiling point not only goes up, it goes up as a function of the concentration of the solute. So the last, the last one that we're gonna talk about is osmotic pressure. So some of the biologists probably already have an idea of what this is. Um, osmosis is uh, defined as the movement of solvent through a semi-permeable membrane. Um, and the reason for this is to equalize uh, a solute concentration. So for example, if we were to just set up like a little flask here, it's um, basically two tubes uh, or one tube that has some solutions in it and the two sides of this tube are separated by a uh, membrane. So in the middle we have a membrane and on one side we have a one molar sucrose solution in water and on the other side we have a two molar sucrose solution in water. So what the membrane is going to do is this is going to block the movement of solute. And that's because the pore sizes are relatively small. So solute, which are like sucrose, especially these are big molecules. They don't fit through these, the pores of the membrane. So they, they, they block the movement of solute, but the solvent, which is relatively small water in this case can move. So what happens is, is um, if we have a, an area of low concentration and an area of high concentration, the solvent is going to want to move to equalize those concentrations. So the solvent is going to want to move toward the high concentration, um, and that's basically going to slightly raise the concentration on the one molar side and slightly lower the concentration on the two molar side, and, uh, and it's going to keep moving until those equalize. So you can imagine that this is going to move until you get to something like uh, 1.5 molar or something like that on both sides. So that, that's, what osm that's what osmosis is, and, um, osmotic, and, uh, and osmotic pressure is related to that. So osmotic pressure um, osmotic pressure is the pressure uh, necessary to stop osmosis. So the way to think of this is basically osmotic pressure is the pressure of osmosis, meaning how, how much does that water want to move um, to equalize the concentration, right? So um, you can imagine that if you were to have a big difference in concentration, like one molar and 10 molar, you're going to have a really big osmotic pressure. Um, so, you know, this is going to be related to the difference in concentration of the two um, solutions. So the reason why we kind of define it a little bit backwards is because to figure out an osmotic pressure, basically you have the pressure occurs naturally and then you have to push against it um, to kind of stop it. And when you get it stopped, then you can see what the pressure was in the first place. You can kind of think of it as like, you know, pushing against like a really heavy object, the pressure required to move the object. The only way you can do that is to push against the object and see how much pressure it takes to get it to move. So the equation that's related to osmotic pressure, um, we can go, because it's a pressure, we can go back to PV equals NRT uh, for that. And so you'll notice that if we kind of reorganize things a little bit, um, pressure, we can say pressure is equal to N over V times RT. So we're kind of going back to chapter five and we're doing those, those standard um, derivations we do with uh, PV equals NRT. So when you do N over V, this is the same thing as moles over volume, which is equal to molarity. So we can substitute in here uh, molarity for those two variables. Um, so we get this equation P is equal to MRT. 
and then we can substitute the pressure in this case. So the pressure in this case is osmotic pressure, which we give it the sign pi. So osmotic pressure is gets this sign uh, pi, which is just something that comes from uh, the field of, of osmosis and, and looking at these things. Uh, so we can say that the osmotic pressure is related to the molarity difference or the molarity of the solute times R. And now R in this case is going to be our regular gas law R. So 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Because what we're going to be plugging in here is we're going to be plugging in a temperature in Kelvin. And um, we're going to be uh, trying to get a concentration out in moles per liter. So we need to use R, that value of R. So this equation, like the other equations, uh, pi is equal to mrt 